it's Zara and I'm in the basement and it's a hot mess guys I'm gonna just work with it and I already filmed the first part of this where I created the pieces of glass and the I glued on the pattern onto the colors that I wanted to create I'm gonna make a mosaic um, no a stained glass piece I'm gonna put this down and see if I can Yes, I think I'm going to be able to get a shot of me cutting the glass. All right. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Let me turn this so I can see. All right. This is like a cutting board, and it's got stuff all over it. Um, it has little holes in the grid so that the glass, the little bits and shards, fall into the, into the uh, bottom, and I don't get cut. This is my blade, my glass blade. Um, I'm going to use, and I don't know if it's, yeah, there's some oil on here. It's called glass cutter oil. And I'm just going to oil up my blade. And I'm going to take those pieces that I glued on and I'm going to lay my piece down. I'm going to try and, if I turn, wait, I got to turn my camera. There we go. I think you'll be able to get the idea. But basically, I just hold this and I kind of guide, oops, I guide the blade along the edge of the paper and then I can cut it. So I've, I've done, you know, and I'm, I move very quickly. Um, so don't, you know, if you're new, just take your time. But really, you just give pressure and, oops there was probably something underneath it but and I probably should be wearing goggles so now I'm just kind of separating them into smaller pieces first of all that's what I do um, like on this big piece I ended up putting um, just two on here on this big one Oops, these two. So I'm going to take, and I, I need like a little, I have shoe boxes all over the place, but all I'm going to do to do these is just kind of take a swipe going across, and I just try to, I hit the edge of that, and I use my hand, but I also have tools, but this piece is, you know, so now I've only used this little piece of glass. So I'm going to try and cut this right on the edge of the paper and just do my best to not have to grind too much off but like that little piece needs to get cut off because the pattern went that way so I'll do the same thing with this one I'll just try and get as close to the paper as I can and I'm going to use this little tool you can use this grab it and just break it off. Again, just, and I just use my hands most of the time. But see, I'm not that close. Like, when I grind it, I'm gonna come right up to the paper. Like, even here, I just glued it to the edge, but when I grind it in the grinder, and that'll be in the next um, video, because I gotta prep my grinder. I have um, haven't used it in a while, and it needs water, and I'm not ready. So that is ready to be ground. So these two are ready to be ground. I'll take this one, and again, you just want to see. This is white, so you're not gonna be able to see it. Let me do a couple more pieces of the red. So you look at it, and I can definitely get closer, especially right here. This is a big piece. I think I can get closer here too. I'm not in the shot. So if I just run the blade along the edge of the paper and then you can just grab it and snap it off. And if it doesn't come off, I can grind that off. That little piece there. Like even that, I could grind it but it just takes a long time and I'm impatient so I'll just cut it 
and just snip it off. See, so now I'm super close. So that's pretty close to the size I want it to be. And this is the top. See that little ridges up there? So, and that's a scrap, but this is a nice size scrap, so I'll, I'll put that in my usable bin. So like this guy. To do a curve, you just, you do it gently, slowly and gently, but I will follow the curve and just hope for the best, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to, because sometimes this will break. It depends. Like I've had it go wrong and it, I don't know, maybe there was a slight crack in the glass or I put pressure where I shouldn't have put pressure, but for the most part, so see, just because I glued it right up against the edge, that's all I have to grind is that little piece. So let's see what else I have here. Okay, this is a big piece of red, this piece. I'm going to just first separate these all from the big piece. So I can basically cut this right along the edge as best I can. I mean, it's still kind of far away, but I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i grind it. And again, just try to get off as much as I can with the cutter. Like, I could probably even do more, but I can grind that. That'll be fine. So that's what I do now, is I'm making a little pile of pieces that are ready to go to the grinder. And I'll show you the grinder real quick on the way up. So that's, I sh I'm gonna use, this is called a grozer plier. So you take this and you put that little seam. So there's a cup, but this is a nice piece of glass that I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put this. So this is where I put like red, it's kind of hard to find, so I have tons of red scraps. They're really little pieces, and I don't know what I would ever do with them. So that's why I said like it's a mess. Like at the time, I'm really just rushing through, and I'm not trying to stay neat as I go, which probably if I were doing this all the time, I'd have a better system. But there's buckets behind me. There's buckets in front of me. There's, I'll show you. It's just a mess, but that's ready to be ground. And then this piece, I'm just going to try and get the curve as best I can and then get this little piece and I just I could have brought this upstairs and showed you at my desk but like little pieces of glass do go flying like you, I, I don't know if you can see them I'll show you better I just figured I'd keep it down here I really don't want to bring the mess to my craft rooms messy enough as it is and I just figured um, I can bring the camera down to you, so, for you, so. That's what I did, but the light's not great, and that was not very close, but that's okay. So you get the idea. This part is just, so see, that was kind of far. I could have probably done better on that one. But I'm just getting these ready, so with the first thing, I never do a curve first. I always do all my straight lines first. So there's a straight line, and I'll do this straight line. I don't know if that's always the best um, way to go. Then I do have cruncher pliers. I think these are them, and I would just turn this over, and you can crunch the edges of things, but I just tend to use the grinder. Um, if you were doing mosaic tile, like for... Um, like a piece of ceramic tile, you do that a lot more, like to shape it into a um, circle or something. But for stained glass, I like to use the grinder. So that's a little bit of a curve, but you can just snap it off. So now these are all ready to be grind ground at the grinder. So the next video, or yeah, I mean, I guess I could add these together. So let me pick up my camera. It's just I can't really see what I'm filming. All right, so here I just wanted to show you, like, see down in there? That's all the little pieces of glass. Um, there's a shoe box. I have just bins of scrap glass all over. This is white. Um, this is my big pieces of glass. I don't have too many, 
but as you see there's not a lot of red in there because red and pink are very hard to come by and they're a little more expensive but for this piece I was thinking I could make a heart different color see look another bin of scraps I just have and then I'll like separate out bigger pieces of scraps of like these are all blues and I don't know what like here's the clear that I just I ended up using scraps but these are pretty cool like look this has like a a floral pattern see it I love this but I just wanted to use scraps so I try to keep the big pieces as big as I can um, but look there's little like marble I marble ones there's a lot more blue and then this is my grinder over here a mess like this I haven't been down here in a while because when I was making glass I would clean it better but I think like these are my little um ow see there was glass on there <laughs> uh these are like the holders that I hold the glass with when I grind but I gotta clean this up so I'm gonna I'll get a water bucket and get it all ready to go I don't even know if it's plugged in it's plugged in but there's got to be water in here and it's a mess so it is by Inland. It's an Inland grinder, and that's just like a backsplash. I think I did this before in a video, but I'm not positive. And that's just the little, this is my little section of garage, but like it's just a mess. See, there's more gl glass stuff, I think, under there. Uh, this is all glass scraps in there, and just different, and band-aids. Look, got to have a band-aid so that I don't bleed all over everything. There's some big green pieces. I think I brought the white up um, and this is that sander that I always talk about that um, it's like a belt sander so you just go so anywho that's it for now I'm gonna finish up cutting out all those and then I'll be back to show you the grind the grinding process and um, we'll start putting it together all right you guys thanks for watching